All right, so yet another build. Here we are again, building more Pokemon. Uh, today is Aromatisse, and this is again, like I said, I'm doing the Trick Room Pokemon right now because I've received a bunch of requests saying like, hey, how did you build your Aromatisse? How did you build your, you know, Kang for slow, uh, for slow? How did you build your Kang for uh, Trick Room? And uh, for slow, I was going to say for slow King, how did you build your slow King for Trick Room? So uh, doing all these Trick Room builds so that you guys can uh, maybe run a Trick Room team of your own and see if you like it, and maybe you won't, maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know. All right, so this is uh, the Aromatisse build, and uh, I'm going to start with her move set here, unlike the other couple builds, we started with their EV spreads. But uh, the EV spreads were like for a very specific reason uh, on, the, on the last one. Uh, this one's kind of a more common spread for Aromatisse, I believe. So uh, let's start with her move set in case uh, you didn't know what she was running uh, from watching the videos. She's got that draining kiss and then the heal pulse because uh, she, her primary uh, reason for existence besides walling Scrafty, like that's one thing you want to do with her is like she's a Scrafty wall, but she's also there to keep your Kang alive. So, um, you know, Aromatisse will stay in and if people kind of try and focus your Kang down without getting rid of him in two hits, you're going to keep him in there. You're going to keep fainting Pokemon. So you kind of want to get maybe like two for one on the Kang while keeping Aromatisse alive. Or if they do attack the Aromatisse, you know, then you have that draining kiss and you can also maybe get like one heal pulse off on the Kang and bring him back up to full HP before you lose her. So she's really nice. She's also super awesome to have in in case you want to switch someone in. The um, the, the heal pulse is nice because like you switch in and then heal pulse somebody because uh, she'll have priority once Trick Room is set up, you know. So she's also a Trick Room setter, by the way. I forgot to mention that, but I think that was kind of obvious. Oh, no, you don't have Trick, you have Trick Room. She has Trick Room as well. It's her and Slow King are my two Trick Room setters in this team. And then I also run Protect on her. There we go. So there's the Protect. And you'll notice that a lot, a lot of my Pokemon actually don't run Protect on my Trick Room team. And the reason I don't run a lot of Protect is simply because I, I want as much coverage as I possibly can, can get. Because it, Trick Room's only up for five turns, or four turns, really. Uh, and so I need to... Uh, I need to get rid of as many Pokemon as fast as possible. So um, things you should be worried about uh, when using a Trick Room team is Protect because some people will try to like Protect stall you out. So when they're done Protecting, you better hit them hard. Oh, you're gonna, oh my gosh, my Aromatisse. Okay, there we go. All right, we're right back. Uh, honor, and let's go to the ability here. So uh, we're not gonna use Healer. We're actually gonna use, I think it's Aroma Veil. There it is, Aroma Veil. So uh, if you want to read this, it says protects allies from attacks that limit their move choices. This is actually really awesome to have if you um, have like someone else out on the field too that you don't that is like um, like a priority Pokemon or something like this. You can use Aromatisse in other situations, you know, um, other than like my specific Trick Room, obviously. But um, it is nice from time to time if you if you bring her out with someone else that. Um, has priority stuff and things like that, uh, and you really, really need to uh, survive a taunt, then Aromaville is nice. It covers all of you. Oh, Encore as well. They can't Encore you when you have Aromatisse out, so that's actually really cool too. Okay, so uh, her item, I believe, uh, was a Leftovers. Uh, she's relatively bulky, and so Leftovers is nice, especially with Protect. You never know when, you never know when that Leftovers Protect is going to give you just enough health to survive another attack or to get one more heal pulse off or something. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Anyway, let's work on her spread now. So uh, we're going to go 252 in HP. You know, that's going to add bulk to both uh, defense and special defense. Then uh, I believe we're going to go a 60 into standard defense here. And then we're going to give her more special defense, uh, I believe, to take moves like uh, any type of poison, uh, stuff like that, because uh, she can be relatively weak to uh, that kind of stuff since she's a fairy. So we go with that, raise that special defense. So she can really, um, she, she can really take a special defensive hit. Uh, I love it when people hit her with lightning. That's one of my favorite, or electric, with lightning, with uh, any electric type moves. So happy. All right, and we're gonna switch the nature up. I believe she's a sassy. Oh, she's a sassy girl. Uh, that's a sassy Romatisse. So there you go. Make her super duper slow so she's 
almost always the fastest person on there. I think one of the only other Pokemon that outspeed her is stupid effing Brass Steel Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn, so annoying against Trick Room teams, but uh, that's it. There's the, the build, Aromatisse. Looking good. So, uh, yeah, build yourself one and run with it. She's fun. I, I like Aromatisse, actually, a lot. But, uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And, again, don't forget to follow or subscribe, actually. I always say follow, I think, but subscribing on YouTube. <laughs> don't you forget to subscribe. All right, peace.